Hello, it's Kevin Beasley from New Start Realty and Relocation in Surprise, Arizona. We are located on West Alcapoco Drive. Um, we have recovered the property due to a broken lease, a material breach by the tenant. We are enforcing our rights in the crime pre uh, provision of the uh, residential lease agreement on lines 160 to 165. The, I arrived at the property on 8-1 at approximately 2.30. Uh, the front door was open and so was the back. There are signs that, of uh, foul play. <coughs> I walked in through the back door. Uh, everything was turned over. The couch, somebody's been looking for something here. The uh, evidence shows that the tenant did breach. We um, confirmed that evidence through uh, the uh, uh, co-lease lessee and also the or co-tenant rather, and also the um, uh, jail website in San Diego. Uh, so. We entered our right. We entered the property on those on based on that right. The lease is now breached uh, and reverting back to the owner. It appears to be uh, some uh, somebody stole. It. If there was a television here, it was gone. Everything's been turned upside down. There appears to be no damage in the living area and the kitchen to the structure. Uh, fortunately for my client, uh, the drawers are all disheveled, but they are there. The, obviously, the refrigerator and the stove is here. Um, there was a microwave in the garage. I think a microwave was on the lease. Somebody tried to steal it, but they didn't get away with it. Um, obviously, no damage to the fixtures. The ceiling fan is running. The utilities are on. The water is on. Um, and so I was glad for that. There is some basic damage going up the stairs. I'll make myself in here. I see no holes in the wall. That's a good thing. The locks have been changed. So we're very fortunate on our end. Um, this is the den area. I don't see any damages in here at all. Apparently, I do not believe my uh, owner had the wash and dryer. Uh, that seemed, it has been gone. Somebody's cut the hoses off on that. So there was one here, obviously, but that is gone. Locks have been changed and I secured. The uh, locksmith secured the garage with uh, the padlock on my moving truck. So, um... In the garage, there's still a lot of items here. Bicycles. There's no damage to the garage. The garage door was unplugged when I got here. So people were accessing this. Um, so, and the garage was lifting up. There's the microwave that belongs to my client. So that's here. If it works, we'll find out. All three locks were changed. One key provided for each lock. Oh, it's the same key for the locks. So I received two keys from the uh, locksmith. And this is secure from both the garage, the side door secure. I checked that before the inspection. Basically we got uh, carpet cleaning needs to be done. No damage to the rail, the rail is secure. Uh, the light, somebody looked like they were going through here, pulled this off for some reason. Sometimes these dopers get the mindset that there's dope behind there. So that's apparently what has happened here. Uh, carpet is in bad shape, but does look like it could be cleaned. I recommend VIP by Mike. And it doesn't appear to be any damage to the wood floors through my initial inspection. This is a secondary bath. It's been gone through. I didn't walk to the powder room, but the house will need a deep cleaning.
The filters are bad, but I've seen worse. It should be changed immediately. <coughs> Ceiling fans are all intact. The bedroom, master bedroom's been disheveled. Ceiling fan is working. Just a mess. Just everything's been gone through. The master's been totally gone through, ripped apart. The mattresses, all the mattresses have been turned over. Um, like some medication on the side of the bed. All the drawers have been pulled out. I see no damage to the floors, though. I'm grateful for that. It looks like some of the furniture's been damaged. But for the most part, the furniture's in good shape. Narcotics Anonymous book. The baby's room, even the baby's room's been gone. The mattress has been flipped up like they would hide drugs in there. All these stickers, they look nice. I don't think they're gonna cause any damage if we remove it. The room does have a no, it hasn't been painted. It has a pink tint probably because of that, though. And, uh, there's no ceiling pin in there. Secondary bedrooms are in good shape. Looks like the, uh, smoke alarm will have to be replaced in here. I'll have to check the others, and I'll include it in a ladder report. Basically, no damage to the structure, so we're grateful for that. Everything's torn apart. I mean torn apart good. For a moving company, a legit moving company, uh, to pack and move to storage, where you're looking at at least a couple thousand. This is a two-day job. I already walked through the front and the back. I see no damage, evidence of damage. Um, let me take a walk around there again. Now there's absolutely no damage to the front. The garage door is, uh, good shape. It appeared to roll really good too. I didn't check the electronics end of it. I'll come back to secure this backyard. I have some, I didn't bring any. I'll go up to Walmart and grab a lock for it. I want to keep people back out of here. Apparently, according to one of the co-tenants, that uh, there was a swimming pool back here and somebody already stole it. That motivated me to get here as soon as possible. There is a uh, trampoline back there, which is not a good thing to have on a rented property, but... Uh, yeah, there is no swimming pool. The yard is terrible. It needs lots of cleaning. It needs a, the house needs a deep cleaning. We have a damaged screen door. That's not good. But for the most part, we're really grateful. Just some garbage, but the AC seemed to be okay. So... And that includes this walkthrough on this property. I'm going to go ahead and secure it. I'll come back later, put a lockbox on it, and um, get a hold of the uh, of one of the uh, co-tenants and uh, see when he wants to pick up his property.